Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your April 2021 bonus reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have going on for Gemini? Whoop. Hey, I wonder if... Whoop. Wow. Okay. We'll take them. The World, Ten of Earth, Seven of Air, and Six of Air. In the bottom, we have Unity. Okay, so we have the World. So we have Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment. How nice is that? And then we have Ten of Earth. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. And Seven of Air. Plans that need revision. More going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. Okay. And then we have Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. Okay, so things look like they turn in your favor. We have a little niche here that we have a nice niche, a glitch, <laughs> a glitch here in our plans. But it's all right. Plans just need a revision. There's something going on that you probably don't know about because it has more going on than meets the eye and there's poor timing. So you might have to wait a little bit on something. But otherwise, this looks fantastic. All right, so let's put these over here. And we'll see what the reading has to offer here. Because it looks like you're doing quite well here. Okay, we'll do it that way. What am I doing here? So discombobulated here. Okay, here we go. Now, oh, unity too. We have Archangel Salafon. On traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual and organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Yeah, so you could join a spiritual group or something. That would help you. Whew, okay, let's see what's going on for Gemini. You know, I just did other energy. I felt scattered. I still feel scattered. So maybe it's me. I'm thinking it's the energy coming on for the reading for the whoever I'm reading for. Sorry, it might be me. <laughs> okay, let's see. But something's scattered here. Let's see. If you guys feel scattered, let me know. Ooh, the devil coming up. Capricorn energy. Okay. And then we have the fool. A new beginning. A new beginning with a Capricorn. <laughs> Let's see. Then we have the three of pentacles working on something. And in the recent past, we have five of pentacles. And seven of pentacles. Nine of swords. Ace of pentacles. Nine cups, ace of cups, and a four of cups. This is a very interesting reading here. Ten of cups on the bottom. Well, there's definitely, this feels good. The devil, someone might be obsessed. I think someone might be working too much. I mean, you do have the finances come in and, and the world and everything else, but I think someone is really focusing on this new beginning, and they're putting a lot of time and effort into it. Because... With the devil here and then with the three of pentacles is this overall energy is working on it also could be you collaborate with others teamwork but i'm feeling more like you are working on something yourself that you're really putting a lot of work into and you're gonna get your ten of cups here so this is very nice so five of pentacles recent pass you know being feeling left out in the cold but you can go right in there so and this is here it's like should you still continue to put work into something and you're probably losing sleep over it. But everything's coming out really good. The outcome looks good. You have to make a choice up there. We'll figure out why um, that's there. But Okay, let's start with the devil. Why is the devil here? Give us more clarity on why the devil or Capricorn's here. Whoop! Well, here we go. King of Swords. Okay, so this is your energy here. So you're in your power. So I'm feeling more like the devil is, is you're just... You're so focused, you're obsessing over something, or you're just you're a workaholic. And um, but this is your your energy here, this King of Swords. So that's why I'm feeling that you're just you, a lot of you guys are really focused on your career and your work on something there. Okay, the fool. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Ooh, look at this. So there's a new beginning to bring you out from this being left out in the cold, feeling abandoned. So whatever this was that you felt like you didn't have enough or something, you're working on it. You're starting something new. 
Okay. Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Ooh, whatever you're doing, you're going to do well here. You're going to get recognized for this. You've been through a lot. The energy feels like you've been through a, a lot and now you've been staying focused though. I mean, with that devil card there being obsessing over this. But it's going to pay off. Okay, now the five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? Ooh. Okay. So someone felt maybe left out from a family situation or um, maybe... You were you um, were divorced or separated from this family situation, left out in the cold. Okay, um, maybe you lost a house. Okay, why do we have the Seven of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, you know you're wanting here. You want things to be equal. You're wanting to get paid for your worth. And you and it looks like you've been putting a lot of work in. I'm wondering if you should continue. And you are continuing because you're going to be financially successful here. Money's coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine of swords. Why, why is the nine of swords here? Ooh. Okay, so you're... You're worried about this um, love here, this love offer. May someone made you a love offer. Something's coming in here, though. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be good here. This Nine of Swords is going to be turned into a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? We got the Ace of Cups twice here. Ooh, uh oh. Uh oh, something new is starting. It might be someone. This could be a, a past person, but it could also be would be in the Pentacles. It could be someone um, with a position coming back from a, the past. Maybe a job, offer, a business. Might be a past um, connection there. Could be someone coming in with a job offer. Maybe someone that you knew in your childhood. Okay, nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups? Wow, someone sees you as their wish fulfillment. Could be a Libra. And they want to bring justice to this. If this is someone it could be someone coming from the past and they want to bring make things fair justice here. Or you also could be getting your wish fulfillment because it, maybe a court case came through in your favor. Okay. Ace of Cups. Empress. Someone sees you as their empress. Or you as the empress. There's a lot of love here for you. And you're very loving, nurturing, and caring, and giving. And and this is coming out. Okay, why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? You have many choices. You don't know if you want to take that cup or not. Someone's coming and offering their cup of love, but you have so many choices... You don't know what to do. King of Pentacles. Now here we have the King of Pentacles. So this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Okay. Let's clarify a little more here. Whoa. Knight of Cups. Wants, someone wants to come in and, and offer you a cup of love here. This could be um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Doesn't have to be. And then we have the Page of Cups right here too. Yeah, there's. I don't know. I think you have a couple people coming here that want to offer you their love. One might be younger than you or not as mature. Oof. Okay, let's clarify why we have this Four of Wands with this Five of Pentacles. I want to know more about that. The hair of that. Seven of Pentacles again. And four of cups. See, we're getting these same signs. So, if, so this is something to do with a commitment. 
and whether or not to put the work into it. And so it might be someone from the past trying to come back in that you were married to or living together. There was a commitment here. And you're not sure if you want to put the work back into this. You might have felt abandoned. Yeah, you're not sure about this. Someone from the past. Alright, and the bottom we had some sort. Something might have been sneaky here. They might they may have been spying on you too, but I feel like something they did something sneaky. So you're not sure about that. Alright. So now let's clarify this seven of pentacles with the you don't want to get an old deck just in case some a duplicate wants to come out. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles with a Six of Pentacles. Let's see. Why do we have the Seven of Pentacles with a Six of Pentacles? <clears throat> Prince, Princess of Cups. Okay, so there's love here. Someone, there's someone wants to work on something and, and, and give back to the relationship, I think. That um, you're not sure about doing this, but some of this Princess of Cups, they're willing to contribute to. Maybe they didn't do that before. And again, it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It doesn't have to be. It could just be that energy of someone coming in wanting to um, to do the work. Okay, how about this Ace of Cups with the Nine of Swords? Why do we have the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Swords? Two of Cups. Yeah, someone sees this thing. Whoever's coming in to offer, they see you as their, their other half, their soulmate, their um, twin flame. And someone's not sure. They're worried about this. Look, Ace of Swords, Molly. Yeah, someone wants a new begin. Someone definitely wants to talk to you. Okay, what else do I want to clarify here? I, because I, um, I'm going to just, no, wait, let me get another deck again. There's four of cups with the seven of cups. More on that. And then I'm going to just throw some cards on to see what's going on. What else? Queen of Pentacles. So here we have choices. So you also have, looks like you're doing well financially. So you don't really need someone else to, to come in to help you financially. You that's not an issue here. Your finances are doing great, but you do have many people coming in. Um, and we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's a very strong um, water sign here because we, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, keeps on coming up. And we do have the Ten of Cups, but do we do have the King, the Queen and King of Pentacles. I think who, there's also someone here that is fi financially doing well too, and so are you. And then we have the King of Cups here, so... Okay, you know, I'm going to just throw some more cards on to see what comes up. Because I, you have more than one person and it's getting kind of hard to um, figure out who's who here. Because I think it's more it's more than a, um, a couple here. I think you have your choice. Okay. Yeah, decisions. You, you're... People might be interfering in, in your business too, but you do have to make a decision here. You got the two of swords. But I think other people are trying to either um, interfering in someone else's um, business, like someone that you're that's interested in you, or in or talking to you. Someone's talking to someone, trying to talk them out of things, trying to persuade them. And we have someone's hanging on real tight here. Could be you're hanging on real tight to your finances or. Um, someone's hanging on tight to you. They don't want to let you go. Which way this resonates with you guys. Someone's keeping something close to the chest. Maybe they're not letting you know that they like you. Cherry. Someone's coming in quick though. Here's a cancer sign though. And we did have the cups here quite a bit. Could be a cancer that's interested. That's trying to come back. Or something's moving forward quickly. The devil. Here's the Capricorn again. Something coming in. And then we have walking away from something here. The ending of something. 
Something's over. You know, um... Okay. Let me clarify. No deck. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ace of Swords. Okay, I think someone wants to talk and someone's not talking. Someone's hold, keeping themselves bottled up. But someone does want to talk. And how about the chariot? Why is the chariot here? Someone wants a new beginning, though. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. So this is destined. Whatever this is coming in quickly here is destined to come. It's going to come in divine timing, too. With the Wheel of Fortune. And how about the devil? Why do we have the devil here? The magician. Okay, I don't know. With this devil card and magician, someone might be trying to manifest you. And they might be, um... I want to say that, you know... Now, this is not, not going to be for everyone, but someone might be into, like, doing a little black magic or something. With the... The magician on the devil here. Page of sword. And they could be spying on you too. I don't really like this energy here, whoever this is for. It's not for everybody. But this energy right here, this this page of swords and the magician and the devil. I think someone's obsessing over you. And they're trying to um I, well it doesn't have to be like black magic. It could be just trying to um, manifest you by affirmations too. You know, just trying to you know, get this to work, but they're also watching you. They could be watching you online or... Hmm. Ah, Gemini. Overall, the reading looks really good. You got a lot of people interested in it. I hope you know who this person is so you can stay away from. Uh, but otherwise, you have other choices, too. Might be a Capricorn. Alrighty, let's, um, just want to throw a note card on here. Let's just throw a note card on here. Let's see what else we got going on for Gemini. Yeah, again, choices. Yeah, you have a lot of choices. And someone's walking away from something to go to something better. Either it's you or someone else. Someone might be walking away for something to come to you. Or you could be walking away from something to go to someone else. Or even a job. You can be walking away a job to go to something better. Because your finances, is, you know, that looks really awesome. And you have many people interested in you. So you have your choice. You have the pick of the litter. Well, Gemini, I hope you liked your read. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.